Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. You are watching Math with Yasir Rafal. Today we are going to discuss 8.3 exercise in which we have discussed the most important question of this exercise. In this exercise, we have to use these nine formulae there that is sin square theta plus cos square theta, it is equals to 1. And we have to use one by one these formulas in the question. This is question number two of the fifth part of exercise 8.3. So just we have to take out the left hand side here. That is cot theta plus tangent theta. Now what is the value tangent theta? It is equals to sin theta over cos theta. And what is the value of cot theta? It is equals to cos theta over sin theta. So just we have to put these values here. This is cos theta over sin theta plus this is tangent theta that is sin theta over cos theta. Just we have to put their values here. Tangent theta it is equals to sin theta upon cos theta and cot theta it is equals to cos theta upon sin theta. Just we have to put their values here. Now Take out the LCM, sin theta, cos theta. So this cos will multiply by this. So it is equals to cos square theta. Cos theta multiply by cos theta, cos square theta. This is sin theta multiply by sin theta. It is equals to sin square theta. Just we have to take out the LCM between these two fractions here. Sin theta, cos theta will be the LCM. This cos will multiply by this cos, it is equal to cos square theta and sin theta multiply by sin theta, it is equal to sin square theta. Now if you have to focus the formula number 1 here, this is sin square theta plus cos square theta, it is equal to 1. So just we have to put this formula here, so it will be equal to 1 over sin theta over into cos theta. This is 1 over sin theta into cos theta. And here we have to prove cot theta into sec square theta. And cot theta means cos theta over sin theta. That means in numerator we require cos theta. So that means we have to multiply and divide it by sin theta. This is cos theta, not sin theta. Because here it is cos cot theta. Cot it is equal to cos upon sine. That means in numerator we require cos theta. So that is why we have to multiply and divide with the cos theta. So this can be written in this form here. Cos theta over sine theta into cos multiplied by cos it is equals to cos square theta. So these all are can be written in this form here because they are in the product form. So we can break this one like this. Cos theta over sin theta into 1 over cos square theta. Now here cos over sin it is equals to cos theta and 1 upon cos theta it is equal to sec theta so 1 upon cos square theta it will be equal to sec square theta so just we have to put their results here their values here it is sec square theta left hand side equal to the right hand side we are going to discuss only the important question of exercise 8.3 it was question number 2 of the 5th part. Now come to the 2nd part here. Now question number 2 of the 8th part of the same exercise. We are going to discuss here again. Question number 2 of the 8th part. Remember that students we are going to discuss only those questions which are most important question. So this is the question number 2 of the 8th part here. Take out the left hand side. Take out the <coughs> left hand side here. 
This is cot square theta minus 1 over 1 plus cot square theta. So what is the value of cot theta? It is cos over sin theta. So just we have to put their values here. Then cot square theta, it will be equal to cos square theta over sin square theta. So this is cos square theta over sin square theta minus 1. And in numerator, this is cot square 1 plus cot square theta. It is equal to cosec square theta. We can use this formula as well. Or we can break cot theta into cos theta over sin theta. So we have two ways here to prove this question. So here cot theta, it is cos theta over sin theta. So just we have to put the value here. Cos, theta, cos square theta over sin square theta. So just take out the LCM in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So here in numerator the LCM is sin square theta 1 multiplied by cos square theta minus sin square theta. Just take out the LCM in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So this is sin square theta plus cos square theta over sin square theta. So when we have to reciprocal this one, so this sin square theta will cancel out to this one. So we can cancel out on this step here. So in the numerator, it is cos square theta minus sin square theta and whole divided by sin square theta plus cos square theta. So this is again sin square theta plus cos square theta. It is equals to 1. So just we have to put its value here. It is cos square theta minus sin square theta over 1. So here it is cos square theta minus sin square theta. But here on the right hand side we have 2 cos square theta minus 1. That means we have to use the formula of sin square theta. So sin square theta it is equals to 1 minus cos square theta. So just we have to put its value here. 1 minus cos square theta. Just open the bracket with the negative sign. Cos square theta minus 1 plus cos square theta. And this 1 cos square theta, 1 cos square theta, it is 2 cos square theta minus 1, which is the right hand side, 2 cos square theta minus 1. So left hand side, it is equals to the right hand side. Now, dear students, come to the uh, next important question here. Okay, students, now this is question number 2, same exercise 8.3, question number 2 of the ninth part. Another important question here. Just take out the left hand side here. That is sine theta over 1 plus cos theta. over sin theta. Just take out the LCM here. LCM is sin theta into 1 plus cos theta. 1 plus cos theta into sin theta. Then this multiply by sin theta and 1 plus cos theta will multiply with the 1 plus cos theta. So sin theta Multiply by sin theta, it is equals to sin square theta. Sin theta, multiply by sin theta, it is equals to sin square theta. Plus, now 1 plus cos theta, multiply by 1 plus cos theta, it will be equals to 1 plus cos theta to the whole square. So here, 1 plus cos theta to the whole square. So we have to expand this one. A plus B to the whole square. That is equals to A plus B. It is equals to A square plus 2AB plus B square. So just we have to open this bracket by using this formula. A plus B to the 
whole square. So this is here sine square theta a square plus 2ab we can apply the formula here a square plus 2ab and plus b square sine theta over 1 plus cos theta remains same here now come to the point here 1 plus cos theta to the whole square the, what is the value of a it is 1 and what is the value of b it is cos theta so this is a square plus b square that is cos theta and 2ab 1 into cos theta a square plus 2ab plus b square so just simplify here this is sine square theta the square of 1 it is 1 2 ones are 2 cos theta plus cos square theta and whole divided by the same that is 1 plus cos theta now here sine square theta plus cos square theta it is equals to 1 cos square theta 1 plus 2 cos theta divided by sin theta 1 plus cos theta so here sin square theta plus cos square theta it is equals to 1 so here sin square theta plus cos square theta it is equals to 1 so this is 1 plus 1 plus 2 cos theta all divided by sin theta into 1 plus cos theta because sin square theta plus cos square theta it is equals to 1 so this is 1 plus 1 that is 2 cos theta over sin theta 1 plus cos theta just we have to take out two common here so this is 1 plus cos theta all divided by sin theta into 1 plus cos theta so this 1 plus cos theta will cancel out to this one and this is 2 over sin theta that can be written in this form 2 multiply by 1 upon sin theta so 1 upon sin theta it is cosec theta so this is 2 1 over sin theta it is equals to cosec theta 2 cosec theta which is the right hand side so we can say that here left hand side it is equals to the right hand side now come to the next question students now Again, question number two of the tenth part here, that is the last part, which we are, we are going to discuss right now, the important question. 8.3 exercise, question number two of the tenth part. Now take out the left hand side here, 1 over 1 plus sine theta, 1 over 1 minus sine theta. Just take out the LCM here. LCM is 1 plus sin theta 1 minus sin theta. So this multiply by this remains same. 1 minus sin theta plus 1 plus sin theta. So this minus sin theta plus sin theta will cancel out to each other. And this is 1 plus 1, it is equals to 2. Now focus in the denominator. This is a plus b, a minus b, it is equals to a square minus b square. That is a square minus b square, it is equals to a minus b, a plus b. And we have discussed that 1 minus sine square theta, yes, 1 minus sine square theta, it is equals to cos square theta. This is its formula. 
So we have to put here 1 minus sine square theta, it is equals to cos square theta. So this is cos square theta. So we can write down this 2 multiply by 1 over cos square theta. We know that sec theta it is equals to 1 over cos theta or 1 over cos theta it is equals to sec theta. So 1 upon cos square theta will be equals to sec square theta. So this is here 2 sec square theta which is the right hand side. Yeah. So, left hand side, it is equals to right hand side. Dear students, we have discussed some important questions of exercise 8.3. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe my channel, Math is Yasser Arfab, Allah Hafiz.